Sometimes the world seems upside down. One lone voice proclaims to the people something so out of this world you'd only imagine it on a TV screen. That these revelations that apply to the very essence of our human being and hold a special meaning for me as an American, the principles of personal freedom, most importantly, are privacy, which is literally and metaphorically the most intimate of our God-given rights, the right to be left alone. But the revelations he gave were met with derision. They wanted him in prison, which forces you to stop and listen, because the message that was given is about you. It affects you. Have some respect for you. This left-leaning individual did something of almost biblical proportions by exposing this almost mythical distortion of human rights, individual rights, independently declared, independent right, constitutionally breathed, explicitly conceived, right to be left alone. The finger is inexplicably pointed at him, and for him, it's sink or swim, away, keep the dogs at bay, because apparently in our apparent constitutional republic, the writ of habeas corpus doesn't apply. In other words, he's presumed a bad guy, a traitor to the nation and not the guardian hero of the most basic of our human rights, the right to be left alone. So if I might, I'll politely reject this clever rewriting of my rights, because from my understanding, this massive expanding of our public security is driving my private liberty into obscurity. Let me get this straight. This public agency that we should know everything about works legally in secrecy to find out everything about us? Here's how it's supposed to work. We're supposed to know for certain virtually everything about them. That's why they're called public servants and not private persons. But it's fear, making us frightened to live, frightened to blink, frightened to think we'd ever come up with our own thoughts, frightened enough to think the FISA judges got my interest that heart. First things first. Is surveillance legal? Yes and no. Can a law be legal when it conflicts, restricts, convicts the principles and edicts of a free society? No. It's a contradiction. A manipulation of higher laws to human ends. Security over privacy. There's a catch. Secret society using secret courts under secret laws. Who's to say what's legal anyway? But I've done nothing wrong. I've got nothing to hide except for my pride. So why should I care? Because this right's guaranteed whether or not you want or agree Historically speaking, we fought a revolution, we wrote a constitution, we formed a free union whether or not you want or agreed. But I've done nothing wrong. If secret societies built on secret courts are built on secret laws all along, if you don't know what wrong is, how do you know you've done nothing wrong? But I've got nothing to hide. Leave your curtains open at night, or provide me with your social security number, post your credit card online, see how that sits with you. They only collect metadata, right? Yes. But what is metadata? It's an index of information that put together means means a lot. Phone number of every caller, time, place, duration of every call, which means they can tell who your friends are, family are, how far you drive to work, if you smoke, drink, gamble, what books you read, what you see on TV, on medication or drugs, what psychiatrist you see, your type of personality, and that's just on one of your screens. So surveillance is unpleasant, distasteful, legally disgraceful, maybe, but isn't it necessary to keep us safe? They've used this argument many times toward many ends, nursery rhymes, political lies, in every party, across every line. Joseph McCarthy, J. Edgar Hoover, for communist spies, American spies. In other words, we see over and over throughout our collective history, throughout the mystery of the human condition, the American mission for individual rights, free market system, we end a Jim Crow. Expanded rights of women through innumerable wars, civil war, cold war, world war, one goal above all, to protect our civil rights, only to lose them now with nary a whimper, nary a sound. Liberty can't be measured, it's diminished, materialized, it's all or nothing. If you sacrifice a little bit of liberty for a lot of security, you'll end up with liberty is all or nothing.